What's going on guys? We're starting up the day off at the shop and we got the good old Roadster out here. It was a beautiful day out, so I figured I wanted to take the top off. I love when I, I have the opportunity to take the top off because it's so fun to drive. It's so awesome. I love this car. Shout out to HP Logic for helping me build this. And yeah, today we're going to the junkyard. We gotta do the pick and pull. Hopefully I can get an E36 trunk. I can get some um, interior stuff for the rice and Miata because I know a lot of you want that to be restored and I'm going to try my best to do that. Don't expect it to be anything crazy just because it's the rice and Miata and did you see those fame frame rails? Junk. So let's see what we can find. Had to make a quick stop at Panera. Now we're going to get some E85. Tommy's got the gas cans and I got the Miata, so we're gonna get 20 gallons of E85. You ready? Are we racing the truck against the roads, sir? You'll lose. <laughs> Are we going right Guess now? Guess we'll see. In today's episode, you find out how to make your dad deaf. Here at the junkyard, the pick and pull. Right now we're looking for Miatas so I can get some interior for the rice Spencer Miata. Found this new daily. Dude. That's kind of sick. I'll buy this for you if you daily it for six months. In well, the through the winter too. Oh well no. <laughs> it also depends on if I get a fucking run <laughs> They're missing a huge part of that whole deal. I found Orion's Lexus. My search isn't going too well. But I found this and I need this for the ricer Miata because I don't have this. And hopefully this thing under here is not rusty. Oh, dude, we're golden. I found I found a jackpot for me. Missile to <laughs> Did you film that? <laughs> I was... That's how you did it in your roadster. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so what you just saw here is exactly what I did to the roadster when I first got it. I just tried moving it because missiles talked about him needing mirrors. And I was literally just gonna pick him up for him and yeah, like Guess you're not getting a missile, I'm sorry dude. But I got this, it's got a little dog shit on it, but I guess I can get it out with some shampoo. But other than that, this is pretty clean. Save some of the pins, like these. So, this is going in the ricer. So, one thing down, I still need to get a couple things. I'm looking for an E36 trunk. What's up? I found your new daily drifter. Damn dude, this thing's pretty clean, huh? It's a manual. <laughs> daily drifter, painted green. Got the Matco tool sticker and everything. Wow. Dude, I want to represent. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. Oh, Dude. Oh, single can. Oh my god. Junk's a tawny <laughs> fill. <laughs> this thing is nice. Look at this. Tape. That ain't stock. Someone pissed in that. I've never seen anything like that. It's alright. I got dog shit on my carpet. <laughs> <laughs> alright, so Spencer needs. What do you need? I need a full uh, like front chassis harness like coming out of the fuse box because. Uh, when it was raining and we were doing that rain drift, it like, I deleted a lot of shit. I had like wires dangling and it fucking, I ran it over and just like ripped shit apart. So I like, I only have like, it's, I, I fucked it up just to get me headlights going. And it's a nightmare. So hopefully we can uh, get that going again because I was really stressed out and pissed off that that happened. Yeah, so we found an E36 over here. Tommy actually needs the same exact thing. So they're going to have a race to see which one can pull it out faster. It's not a race. It is a race. Challenge. So Tommy got his harness out in about 30 seconds. How you going? Well, trying to make me look like shit. Tommy's car is already taken apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Spencer has a... I knew they weren't stock. My car's factory, so that's why it's taking me longer. Don't worry. Jesus, dude, I thought you were gonna hit me with that. I'm you're, over it. You're an angry man. You want me to break that radiator for you? What? Huh? I'll rip in this. So Rudnick's needs some bolts from this old. Ugh. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Breathe it in deep. Ugh. Dude, this car is so hot. Dude, this is disgusting. How's, well, it, how's it going? As long as I can get that with a screwdriver. You can't. It. It's a 30 minute I'm going to get it out just because you said I can't. All right, we'll see. Here's your film update. <laughs> well, 
I'm covered. Look at you covered. I'm covered in shit. He's shoving a <laughs> disgusting. The thing probably has AIDS on it. <laughs> I got I got these Allen keys to work from um AutoZone. Because they're junk. They fall they fell apart twice already. How many bolts do you have out? I have um I'll have six after this one. So that's I think, all you need. Yeah. So I'm stoked on this because I needed these to um do the sunroof delete because so you're trying to tighten them back um up. Tommy has this like bucket bin. Or bucket bin, bolt bin, bolt, bolt bin, and I looked in there for like an hour and only found four of them. But Which now is alarming. I'll have all of them, so we're good. We're gooch. Oh, this is gross. Want anything else out of this guy? No, I'm good. Oh, I took my harness, which I caught here because I only need like a couple of them. Spencer decided to take the whole thing, and he thinks he's gonna splice. Show him. He thinks he's gonna splice all these. <laughs> How long is it gonna take you, Buck? If I do it. Yeah, he's but not. I, I'm ready, so I ripped my shit apart like here, so I might just place it in here. But oh no no, no no. I made it alive. I'm not positive, so I don't know. Hey hey hey. What dude? We got our Chuck shit. Chuck, got all right. I can't be here. <laughs> Dad's mad. Welcome to pick and pull. <laughs> I'm excited. I got five dollars off because it had raccoon shit on it. So now that five dollars can go to some nice shampoo, clean this bad boy up, and it can go in the rice and Miata. But sadly, this is all I got. They didn't really. They had two Miatas. And they were both kind of shot, so this is all I could find. Okay, Spencer's hands are dirty. Do you have towels in there by any chance? No deal. I'm gonna wipe it on the gas shit. Gas soak. Oh, shit. that gas. So Ooh, that's where it's soaking down. Really? I don't care. We're already soaked. Bax? Bax? <laughs> Brad. You have cancer. I wish he had a cut. <laughs> Congratulations, you just. Oh, I don't, like, don't want to like, touch the gas part. I'm... Success at the junkyard? It was okay. Success? Yeah, fucking stoked. Wasn't very successful for me. There was no E36 coops here. Couldn't get the trunk, but it's I a good thing I got the um, Bondo Pro here. All right, Bondo Amateur. Bondo Amateur, but it's okay because I'm a Bondo yeah. loser. Let's get to the E85 YouTube station videos. just because I guess Tommy didn't want to stop on the way here. We got no gas, but we'll make it. And brake clean works super good. My <laughs> dries the fuck out of your hands. My hands are super moisturized right now. Good job. Here at the E85 station, <laughs> and um, it's a lot cheaper than 93. 93 here is two, 360, and E85 is 240, and I make more power with it, so it's a win-win. Other than I get 10 miles to the gallon with it, so. But it smells good. And since I don't want to come back to New York, Got my two five gallon tanks here, my little race gas tanks, and yeah, now I can get one more tank and we're breaking the bank on the 85. How, How much many is gallons it? is two five gallons? Yeah. Oh, you killed that mathematical <laughs> equation. Smart boy. How long do you guys think it is before I put some bumpers in here and he ruins them again? Why did you say that in your video? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The throw! Tommy's throwing gummy bears, trying to get it to Spencer. Oh, I got it! Oh, yes! Oh, it was a red one too. It was awesome. Uh oh. <laughs> He's got in trouble. I get it. Hey, look, we're in dirt. Still gripping. Fuck. That's terrifying. <laughs> this is a two way. This is a two way. I can't believe it. I hope <laughs> a car comes so we can see it. It's ridiculous. I don't. We're like off roading, dude. What, Honestly, what kind of road is this? Good thing we're not like in a slam yacht. Yeah, we had to take a detour because the douche in the construction hat told us we couldn't go the other way. So this is the way he took us. Shout out to that guy. Nothing more gay than a topless Miata. And sharing a vape with a good friend. Fuck yeah. So there's a little jump on like the shop road. It's not really a jump, but I like to hit it in the road, sir, because like the Olins are so good that it will keep the car on the ground, but it actually makes your ass like go above the seat. And like when the hard tops on it hit my head, yeah, it sounds kind of stupid, but it's fun. So check it out. <laughs> Isn't it fun? It's cool. I love it a lot. That's fun as shit. <laughs> so we just got back from the junkyard, and now it's now it's time to put Spencer to the test here. We'll see 
if he is the Bondo amateur that he says he uh, is. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> what so, I'm a little worried about is like the way this is fitting. Oh yeah, like how it's this a little like, down right, right there. Here, like over here, uh -huh. this is perfect. It's like yeah, it's like it has like a good body line to it. Uh huh. But over here, it's a pretty big drop down. So like, I'm gonna have to like smooth out the Bondo like really far so the body line is gradual enough that it doesn't really catch the eye. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm Bondo amateur, so. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Best. Um, yesterday, uh, I did film this. Maybe I'll put it in, maybe I won't. I'll check over the footage. But, um, yesterday, we put the sunroof delete panel in. I'm sorry, Hunter. Don't hate me. But we had to peel the wrap off just to get this in because it was, for some reason, it was like a super, super tight fit. And we're tight bonding fit. it anyway. And we're bonding it anyway. So, we so. because we want this to just look flat. Slick top, Junior. That's what we're going for. So, this is all good. This is weird. Yeah, it's it's kind of depressing, and I'm kind of like trying to erase it out of my mind right now. But I mean, don't worry. It'll, it'll, worst comes first. It just comes out lumpy. Oh yeah, worst comes to worst. Um, we started mounting up the um felony forms. While he's doing that, I'm gonna take measurements all through here and start drilling out even holes. Just because I want to drill out all the holes before Hunter gets here. He's actually gonna be here at eight. Right now it's five o'clock. And I want to drill all the holes out so then he can wrap the felony forms and then when they're all done I can just get rivets, rivet them right in, and we're all a big happy family, so. The happiest! The happiest! <laughs> you see the smile? You don't get that anywhere else. But anyways, so, do that, he's gonna do that. We're gonna update you um, whenever I feel like pulling off the camera, so I'll see you then. So here it is, there's no turning back now. Yeah, I'm kind of a little worried already. See what I mean though, like, as long as I don't get danned, I'm fine. I'm, I'm liking your technique already. It's looking amateur. Not professional, but amateur. Like I said, I've, I've dabbled with a few uh, Ross Pitts. I'm glad you worked at that place before. See, you I wanna would, give him a little shout out? No. No? Okay. I wouldn't have even volunteered to do this if I didn't actually have <laughs> like a little bit of confidence. Like, like somebody? Yeah, like some people, <laughs> Dan. So, I got this all measured out. It was like seven and three fourths or whatever. And I marked every single spot I needed. And I measured this hole from like right here down and then right in the middle. That's where I got my measurements from. And then I just like, so this plus is exactly where I'm drilling all of here. And then when those are all drilled, I'll worry about what's going on on the over here. But Spencer's also been working, getting real nervous because there's Bondo everywhere. A lot of dust. A lot of dust. But either way, so like, right here is coming out pretty good. It's like coming out pretty level because there's such a wide gap. But over here, it's a little too steep. So like, even if I sand this down and marry it up real nice, you'll be able to see it dip down and get level again. And like with the clear wrap, or not the clear wrap, like the shiniest wrap, you can really see body lines. But over here is almost done. Like I need to, I need to block it out a little bit better. But I'm, I'm starting to actually have confidence because I really didn't have confidence. So if you get this job right, does that make you a pro? I feel like that makes me a pretty good pro. Like, All right, so well, we'll, it's, e it's easier to go like this and like see where a fucked up line is. Yeah. But it's another thing to like body work and prime the whole car. Too. Yeah. You really got to go like cross hatches and shit. But yeah. well, this obviously isn't gonna get wrapped tonight. Um, Hunter's gonna be here at 8:30. I'm gonna try my best to get all the felony forms done. Um, when Grant came down here and like explained how to do this stuff, he's like, "Dude, this stuff's gonna take you a long time." And I told him, "I'm like, dude." I can get this done in 40 minutes. Like, and then now that I'm actually taking my time, I'm measuring every single line. I'm like getting all those. It, it's it's gonna take a while. So um, I'm gonna try to get it done before Hunter gets here, or at least a couple of them. We got the new front bumper that he can start wrapping. He can start wrapping the back bumper, but and the trunk. And, and the trunk. But when it comes to the car, I mean, if we get that done. That's true. I forgot about the bottom part. But. There's kind of a lot of dust, so I think tonight is just gonna be focusing on like the bumpers and stuff, and bumpers just get I that feel out like of the way. Take a while. The, this, oh. this one is definitely gonna take a long time I mean, for like, sure. If I can get the roof basically done, and then you just clean the car again. Yeah. But uh, you can't get the Bondo like wet. Well, we're gonna air it. I'm just saying though, cause like if you need to wipe down the car again, Bondo can't get wet. It's super porous. It can't get wet ever. What? So we might actually, we, might, we need to go get some sealer primer. What kind of crap is this? Well, it can get wet. That wasn't part of the package but, uh, deal. It like swells and it looks like shit. All right, well, we're not doing a car wash then. I don't know. 
we'll figure it out. But I'm gonna put that <laughs> felony form on. I'm gonna start drilling it, and I'll give you an update in a, in a few. All right, so update. I got all these holes drilled out right here. Started doing these holes right here. I talked to Spencer about this, and I wanted his opinion on it. I was gonna go right here, and then he said it would look better with the body line, so I took his word on it, because he's the bomb Bondo amateur. And then I just did three inches, three inches, three inches right there. And now I have to work right here, get those measurements, but. Don't look on this side, go on the other side. Oh geez, explain what you got here. So, it's basically, Smooth. I know I, my hands dirty. I don't want to put it up on there. So yeah, it's basically the body line's pretty good. Right here is a little bit steep, but I would like to primer the whole roof or like this area, just rattle cam primer, and then block it and see where the highs and lows are. Cause I mean, I feel like I should try to make this come out good so I don't get roasted in the comments. But yeah, other than that, it's coming out not bad. I I kind of fucked myself a little bit over there because I too, added too much bondo, so I cut away it a lot. So that's kind of why it took a while. So. I tried to stay off the actual car itself a little bit more on this one. But we need more Bondo because it dried out. Advanced trip. Got some quick detailer to um, help clean up after. Some microfibers. He's reading some primer can. We Six, got more Bondo. 6.30 minutes of drive from my stoke down, but if you use a heat gun, it should be high. 15. Just got back to the shop and yeah. So he's taking a little sit break. I'm about to work on the felony form and I'm gonna give you guys another update when Hunter gets here so I can apologize to him that um, we fucked everything up. <laughs> we, we really did fuck everything up and we probably, instead of doing everything like all week, we probably should have done that first and not an hour before he was coming but we're assholes, what are you gonna do? So I'll give you an update in a half an hour. All right, so it got it pretty smooth. It's not perfect, like you can see like right there. But we got high build primer, covers up a lot of sand scratches. I'm gonna lay it on pretty thick. And then tomorrow, or when next time I come up, which will be soon, I'll uh, probably 400 grit it. And probably add, have to add a little bit more primer in some spots, or uh, Bondo. But other than that, like, he's basically done. And I'm, I'm glad it's not like cracking and shit. I don't know. But kind of came out pretty good for amateur. So while he's spraying, I have this other one. I finished the other one over there. I'm on to the driver's side and I have all this done. This, I'm about to drill these holes right here. Got these ones right here, so all I have is the bottom. And this side came out really good. Took my time on it, made sure everything was even. And very soaked on how this is coming out. Very, very excited. I'm just fucking globbing it on. I never was a painter. All right, so it's been a long day, but we got a lot done today. You want to show? So roof is basically done. Basically, I said. So like right here, I got to yeah. block out more, maybe even a little bit of primer. But I mean, honestly, it didn't come out bad. I know you can still see the line between Bondo and uh, sunroof. So going to block it. I think I, I don't I won't really want to block it at 80 because I don't want to cut through too much, but I might have to. So. I don't know, honestly, we'll see. But uh, definitely go 80. This uh, is definitely quality amateur work, if you ask me. Dude, it's, it's not good. bad. I'm, I'm excited for it. But yeah, so. Slick Top Junior. So maybe like start at 120, 220, 320, like six. Because six, 600, you don't see sand scratches. Uh, I don't care what the fuck you say. And especially through uh, wrap, wrap, you won't see more than I think like probably like 180 sand scratches. With yeah. So. so he did really good on this. I'm still coming back tomorrow. Maybe towards the end of the day, I gotta go, uh, I gotta do some shit in the morning. Yeah, so he did that. I got both felony forms done in the back. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna come here, but obviously this is the end of the video. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna finish the fronts, but before we do that, this thing needs a wash. So Hunter can actually get to work. I feel super bad because he came here and we're assholes. We're bondoing, making a mess in the shop. He's over there trying to wrap the bumper. He's like, hey man, I don't want to ruin your bumper because it's all dusty and stuff. I appreciate that, by the way. And um, yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna come here. I gotta like clean the shop, make it nice, get all like the dirt out, wash the car, do all that. But definitely a lot of success today. I didn't, I didn't get the clean the uh, um, raccoon shit off this yet, but that will be in tomorrow's video. Don't worry, we'll get that installed. And yeah, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And we'll see you in the next one.
This car is not looking too nice right now, but with a lot of time and a lot of work and a lot of frustration, it'll be met. I'm very, very excited for it. So hope you guys are excited and big things to come for this car. See you in the next one.